Hey Gemini, how are you guys doing? This is Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. This is your general tarot reading. We're gonna take a look, we're gonna see what could be coming in for you guys over the next several weeks. Um, Gemini, this is for you. Again, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is your person, your partner, whoever you're thinking about or dealing with. Please take it how it resonates and leave the rest. Today, I'm starting off from my Separation, the Breakup Oracle deck. You guys have seen this. Um, it's on my Etsy shop. You know, I design, create my own decks. It's available um, for purchase. So, yeah, Gemini, let's take a look at what could be happening for you guys. If you're going through some kind of breakup, maybe you're on a break, okay? Maybe you're separated from someone. We can see what's happening in the energy. Some of you guys, you're on to something new, right? So let's just take a look at what could be coming out. If you're looking for a personalized tarot reading, you certainly could reach out to me, go to my Etsy shop, or even my website and book a reading there, okay? All right, Gemini, what's happening here? Messages for Gemini's Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, we have broken promises, okay? So someone had failed to deliver. Someone said, I promise you the world, and I don't feel like this person came through, right? Um, so this is someone who may have not met your expectations, okay? Um, and they may have led you on in some capacity, okay? So I'm seeing the energy of like someone who has really disappointed you and let you down, okay? Some of you guys, you're not talking to this person because of something here that they did or said or didn't do, right? And I got one more card and we have pretend. So I'm seeing the, the great pretender, okay? Some of you are dealing with someone who is pretending to be something that they're not, okay? I'm seeing like someone who's fake and phony, you may have called this person out, okay? I'm also seeing behavior doesn't match their true feelings. So this is someone that may have acted, okay, in a different way than how they truly felt about you, out of touch with their true self and deceiving people with their actions. So yeah, you may have felt like you were deceived or this person tricked you, they lied to you, right? And that could definitely have been why the Broken Promises card came up. You know, they promised you something and wasn't able to come through for you. So again, a big, big letdown, okay? But I think the biggest thing is that you don't really know who this person really is. Some of you guys, you're kind of questioning, like, who was I even dealing with, right? Because of this pretend pretend card, right? Someone pretending to be something they're not. Um, let's take a look. Let's start off with the recent past. What does Gemini need to know about the situation here? I'm going to get a little bit of the history, what may have happened in the past, which could explain why things are the way they are right now. We have the Devil card. This could be a Capricorn that you guys were dealing with. We have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse and a Justice in reverse. So someone here, you know, may have let you down, but I'm feeling the Justice card is telling me that they were unfair, they wronged you, they hurt you. There was some kind of inequality, injustice, right? I also feel like a lot of you guys may have felt like you put in so much and you got so little in return, right? So there could be that energy with the justice card. For some of you, this could be like a marriage that has gone down south, right? And getting the energy of breakup, divorce. And ultimately, a lot of you, Gemini, you thought that something here was going to be worth it, right? The seven of pentacles in verse is like, you were expecting some kind of outcome in the end. You expected that if I show up, if I give this person my heart, my love, my loyalty, my attention, put in effort, something here will come out of it in the end. I also feel that Gemini, this person may have taken advantage of you in some way with the devil and the justice card. It could be a Libra or a Capricorn. I feel this person had some kind of ulterior motive, right? They, they wanted something here where a lot of you, you know, you didn't really know, right, what their true intentions were. The justice card could definitely be something here where there is some kind of like, attachment you may have to this person maybe it feels like you can't entirely let them go some of you guys this could be like a karmic partner or someone you have a soul contract with the current energy is the hangman pisces so gemini you may have a lot to think about we have the eight of pentacles in the verse it could be regarding what you give how you contribute moving forward and a six of wands. So there's an energy of a victory, okay, coming in for you guys, Gemini, which is really nice to see. But it could be happening after a break, a pause, some kind of hiatus. Maybe there's an opportunity here with a hangman. You're really thinking about something. You're looking at it from a different perspective. And there could be some kind of new insight coming in with the hangman here. With the six of wands, there's a victory. So it tells me that there could be, you know, you being seen in a different way. Maybe you getting someone's attention. Maybe someone finally wants to achieve something here with you. 
but I definitely get a sense that there's a break, a pause, or even a situation here where Gemini, you stop trying, you stopped investing, or just showing up. Now, what I'm seeing here, your person's energy is the Six of Pentacles, Eight of Wands in reverse, the High Priestess in reverse, and the Seven of Swords in reverse. So someone here definitely is noticing that, you know, there's something that isn't moving forward, right? There's a lot of delays. There's a situation that isn't changing. Um, I actually feel like this is someone that's recognizing that I need to do better. Six of Pentacles. I need to give you my all. I need to perhaps reciprocate, right? I've been giving you less than. I've been giving you crumbs. I need to give more, right? show up more there's something here where again if there's an imbalance or a lack of reciprocity i also feel like your person is saying you know i need i need to like now step it up okay the high priestess in the reverse could be the energy gemini of someone revealing some kind of truth to you maybe there was something that was hidden something that was secretive something that they didn't want you to know there could be something finally coming out and it could be regarding something here where they deceived you right? They pretended to be something they're not. They deceived you, seven of swords, lied, tr cheated, tricked you, okay? There's the energy of coming clean. Someone here may also be wanting to come clean because they recognize that, you know, something isn't moving forward the way they want it to with the eight of wands in reverse. There's a lot of delays between you and them. The outcome is a knight of wands in reverse, the page of swords and the ace of pentacles this is a new opportunity coming in for you gemini the ace of pentacles is telling me that it's very promising it's very strong stable secure it could be coming in um you know with an earth sign taurus virgo capricorn or even a fire sign leo sag aries nine of wands in the verse is telling me there could be some fickle behavior maybe this is someone here gemini that tends to be in and out of your life tends to kind of show up whenever they want to there is some kind of conversation that you're going to have with this person with the Page of Swords. You could be finding out some kind of important information with the Page of Swords regarding this person, why they act the way they act, why they behave this way. And it could actually lead to something very, very promising. Okay, So let's jump right in. Let's get some more insight. Like, share, comment, subscribe. All right, we're going to start off with broken promises and pretending, okay? The pretend card. What do we need to know? Gemini, if you want a reading, you certainly could request one from me. Etsy typically has my sale discounts if you're interested. All right, the challenge is the Seven of Pentacles. The challenge is for someone to see that this is worth investing in, right? You put in time, you put your energy into something, and, you know, in the end, you get something that is very promising, something that is worth it, right? Um, you reap what you sow. So I actually feel like this is someone that's recognizing that they don't have what they want in their life right now because they let you down. They disappointed you. They they pretend to be something they're not. They shortchanged you. So as a result, they're being shortchanged. So give me the recent past, the justice, the seven of pentacles in the verse. There's the tower. So some of you may have gone through a tower with this person. There's something that could have fallen down, collapsed, okay? Um, the tower in reverse could suggest that the worst is over, right? There's some recovery going on. But let's let's say this tower could be feeling like there's something where it was just so bad, right? You couldn't pick up the pieces. It was you went through a lot, okay, with this person. The tower in reverse could suggest that something had to fall down though, right? In order for something to be rebuilt, in order for it to be solid um you know a strong foundation something may have had to fall down and fall apart especially if someone wronged you hurt you with the justice card the hair font is here maybe someone had to put an end to a marriage or their viewpoint their perspective regarding marriage and commitment may have been very very um i'm just feeling toxic with the devil card for some of you King of Cups in a verse could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and the Strength in a verse. I feel someone here was very much afraid of a commitment or marriage. They weren't willing to maybe move forward with you in the past because they were afraid, right? The Strength in a verse. I can't do it. I'm not good enough. This isn't for me. Um, this could have been a Leo. I feel like this is someone who really cared for you, Gemini with the King of Cups, but they had a really, really lousy way of showing it. They really didn't <laughs> show you that they cared. Now, give me the current energy, the Heyman. The wheel, so there's some kind of good fortune coming in, good change coming in, something that you may not see, something that it could be very much unexpected with the wheel. 
It could be with regard to a divine masculine energy with the emperor and the hangman. For some of you guys, there's a masculine um, father figure or something like that who is now seeing things differently. The hangman, it feels like there's some kind of change, some kind of, you know, disruption that may have happened in the past. It's allowing your person to now see things different way, a different perspective, different point of view. It's also allowing good change to come in with the wheel, something totally unexpected, but very, very positive. Okay. Now, I'll give you the Six of Pentacles. Six of Cups in reverse, we have the Three of Wands and the Seven of Cups. So this is someone that was very, very much confused about what they wanted. They may have exercised many different options in love. Hence, they could have been very, very confused about what they wanted. That could have been why they pretended, right? They pretended to be something they weren't. I think this is because of the illusions they created in their head. Um, and there are many options in love. Now, this is someone that definitely wants forward movement and change with you. Three of Wands is like they're waiting for their ships to come in. They're waiting for movement, waiting for progression. This is also someone that is thinking about a reconciliation with you with the Six of Cups here. I think this is someone that is very much still connected to you. And they don't want to move on without you, right? Now, the Six of Cups in reverse could suggest that they have work to do, right? They know they've let you down. They know that maybe there's some really bad feelings here that you may have regarding them. And they want to even out the playing field with the Six of Pentacles. But they definitely recognize why there are delays. Um, and this is someone that wants to work through them, okay? They want to work through some kind of obstacles to allow something to move forward. Now, the High Priestess in reverse, it could be something coming out. Four of Pentacles, they've been holding back something here. It could be regarding a third party with the Three of Pentacles. There could be something here they weren't willing to share with you because perhaps, you know, you wouldn't like it. But it feels like there's something that they've been holding back, holding on, guarding for a very long time. And now they know they have to reveal it. The High Priest in verse is some kind of secret coming out, being revealed to you. And it actually feel, it feels like with the Seven of Swords in verse, they know this is necessary so that they can clear the air. There's something about clearing the air getting it all out there is very much necessary one more card the justice card and there's the justice bringing equality bringing harmony being bringing peace right um balance restoring balance to a connection so someone is saying i need to now do right by you gemini i've been hurting you i've been doing things the wrong way now i want to turn things around and so i like that the justice card is how they see moving forward bringing justice and harmony back to a connection where there isn't any, right? And again, it's coming after a big, huge downfall, break down the tower, um, especially if there's some kind of toxicity in the connection in the past. So let's see what's coming in. New beginning, Ace of Pentacles, okay? New, new solid beginning, something forming. Um, it's very secure. Page of Cups in the verse, someone here may be wanting to apologize. They want your forgiveness. Could be coming in from this fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries. Someone who has, again, a tendency to be very in and out, very flaky. Um, maybe has a lot of little things they got planned or a lot that they're responsible for. It just feels like this is someone who has a lot in their plate typically. But this is someone that could be coming in. They're super passionate about you. They want forgiveness. And it could be something they're sharing with the Page of Swords. Something here regarding like them... Feeling like you don't forgive them or wanting to see if you uh, if you accept their apology with that page of cups. Give me another card here with that ace of pentacles. King of pentacles could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and the ten of swords. Someone here could still feel like you haven't forgiven them entirely, Gemini. I think someone here wants stability and security with you, wants a new beginning with the ace of pentacles. But they recognize that ten of swords, they hurt you. They've done some serious damage. And for that, you know, even though they're apologetic, they may feel like you don't haven't entirely forgiven or forgotten, okay, a situation from the past. This is someone that could be bringing forth a new beginning. Some of you guys are moving on without this person, okay, after the ten of swords, after this person betrayed you, and there's a new opportunity coming in. And it could be from an entirely new person um, because we do have a fire energy and an earth sign here, okay? A lot of you guys, it comes down to what you want to invest in, okay? The Seven of Pentacles tells me a lot of you have something to think about. A lot to think about here regarding your long-term investments, who you want to investment uh, invest in how you want to invest moving forward okay um so that's kind of what i'm seeing here gemini like share comment subscribe and i'll check you guys out soon take care